Um, hi, this is Nanda from Carbon Zero with an update on our wood vinegar tomato trial. Um, what we're looking at right now is the control group. Um, and what I've just done is I've taken a survey. I've counted the number of fruits on each plant that are larger than a pea um, on both the control group here and on the wood vinegar treatment group, which we've been spraying with a 200 to 1 dilution of wood vinegar weekly. And I wanted to show you some of the differences I'm seeing. Um, I haven't run the averages yet because I just did the count and I'm still in the field. But um, of these plants in the control group, four have uh, the number of fruits over 10. Um, you'll see soon in the wood vinegar group when we show it that almost all the plants have um, a count of fruits that are that it, it is over 10. Um, also what I'm seeing is a typical bunch here for example, here we have uh, three fruits on this bunch. Um, we've got two on this bunch. There's four here. Uh, maybe you don't see that these are separate plants. But this is four. There's four there. There are five here. There are three here. There are two tomatoes here. There are three here. There are three here on this uh, bunch. Um, the number of fruits on each bunch is on average um, significantly less on the control group. Another thing that I wanted to show you, I've been uh, pruning the, the dying leaves and I've needed to prune many more of the dying leaves on the control group than I have on the treated group. And even amongst the leaves that are left, we're still beginning to get a significant amount of browning towards the top. This is usually what I see. And I believe this is a, a typical tomato fungal infection. These are planted outside. They're not under cover, so they're more prone to a fungal infection. We've had a lot of rain um, in the last week or so. All right. So, I think that that's all I wanted to show you here. Let's take a little walk and take a look at the at the wood vinegar tomatoes. Um, so let's let's start with the leaves uh, at the top. In general, I think you can see that the the plants are much more verdant and healthy. Um, I've also trimmed the leaves at the base of these plants um, that were dying, but they show less signs of uh, disease relative to the other group. And there's much more green and healthy growth on top as I've shown before, these plants are significantly taller, I'd say on average at least 30 to 40 centimeters taller, if not more. And they, they now have many more blooms um, on the top of the plants than in the control group. Also, let's come in here and take a look at some of the, the fruit bunches that I'm seeing. For example, this bunch here. Um, 
two for that's eight tomatoes and this is very typical there are many bunches with seven eight ten tomatoes on them here's another one here's some more there you go here's a bunch with seven and if you just get a general impression, I'll back up a bit and try and, and get a view here. You can see that there are significantly more tomatoes on the bunches, and it's much more consistent, the number of tomatoes on each bunch. Of course, there are a few plants that don't have as many, but on average, uh, these plants have many more tomatoes growing on them. Now, we, we've had, I wanted to do this now because we've had several hailstorms and I never know how bad they're going to get. So, who knows, by tomorrow this could be destroyed. <laughs> with all this rainy stormy weather we're having in Europe. So I wanted to jump in here and record the difference visually and also get a count on them to show you the effects that I'm I'm seeing on these tomatoes. Let's take another look at the at the control group. Again, let me give you a visual. For instance, you can see we have flowering here uh, at the top of these tomatoes. A significant amount of flowering still. Unfortunately, these are all out in the weather, so uh, not all of the blooms fruit. Uh, I got a bit of a jungle here. Uh, let's take a look at these now. These are also flowering, but uh, these plants don't look as healthy to me. They look like they're uh, beginning to reach the end of their, you know, I'm seeing the end of their life cycle coming already. Which makes me want to come in here and start treating these with wood vinegar, but I won't. I'll let it go. All right, I think that that's um, all I have to show you for today. Uh, maybe there's one more thing I can show you because this is impressive. Um, I have to back up a lot more. On the right, what you're looking at is the uh, treated cherry tomatoes. And on the left, you're looking at the untreated cherry tomatoes. Very significant difference in growth. I haven't counted the, um, the tomato bunches yet, but that's something that I want to try to do soon, if I can. But these, uh, these cherry tomatoes are enormous compared to the control, which is on the left. Yeah, I have to back up. Yeah. Okay, that's about all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you updated. Bye-bye.